So then what if the Qatari bid was successful? What would Man United's team have looked like? At first, we're going to be taking Enzo Fernandez in the midfield. What could have been? What could have been? Right, and up next then we're going to be getting PSG, Kylian Mbappe on the left wing. So two players already in then up next from Barcelona. I mean, whew, Frankie Dion. No. Yes, why not? That's just one that I cannot let go, unfortunately. Right up next, Man City, Rodri in the midfield. Why not? Why didn't I take Haaland? I don't know. Do you know what? Rodri in the midfield was needed. Right, Spurs then. We can take, uh, oh, I mean, Christian Romero, maybe. Right, hopefully a Man United player comes up soon. We need to get some, some original United players in this. Liverpool, far, far, far away. Darwin Nunes. Darwizzi. We're taking him. That would break Liverpool hearts. Was I going to take Salah? No, I'm taking Darwin Nunes. Up next then, we'll take uh, AC Milan. We'll take Tomori. Building a team for the future. We're building a team for the future, okay? Right, up next then, Tottenham again. Uh, we'll take we'll take a doggy. A right winger, a right back, and a goalkeeper to complete the Qatari rebuild. Up next, we're going to take Oblak. Then two positions left to complete the Qatari rebuild. That would have been... A Spur we got three Spurs players in the defence. Right back for Spurs. I mean, that is... It could be... What's his name? Uh, Pedro Porro. That's it. So then a right winger to complete the rebuild. Who do we get to complete the Qatari rebuild? Chiesa, I think, right? What could have been the Qatari rebuild is complete. Over 87 points to win the league. And we do. <sighs> what, what could have been?